got her septic line going underneath the footing. As it goes underneath the footing, it needs to go through a pipe that's two sizes bigger than it is. This is a three inch. The next size is four and then six. So six inches is two sizes bigger than three. It goes through here, goes on the other side. It will turn into a four inch diameter pipe. Then there'll be a clean out within five feet of the house. And then it heads on to the septic tank. We've got a Y here and that's going to pick a sink up. Going this way, we've got a nice shovel that's great for horizontal digging, not necessarily vertical, but great, especially for horizontal, to make these trenches at the right angle so you have a fall, so everything's running out properly. And a proper angle on this plumber's ruler, as you can see, this is the three inch pipe, and it needs to be at least an eighth inch or more. This is a quarter inch. And so that needs to be the fall to make sure that it's water is draining downhill. And on a two inch pipe, it would be at least a quarter inch or more. So this is a very important tool to have. Over here, we've got our wash machine and shower. This right here would need to vent through the roof or we can put an AAV, which is air remittance valve, allows air into the system. So you don't have to run a vent all the way through the roof or then it over to this vent and then through the roof but everything according to code you have to read your code to know this but certain things have to have vents um but it's a lot of code to read at any rate this is our toilet go this way we've got another toilet over here and then these two will pick up sinks one on each side of the wall and then it vents through the roof the vent is on the back side of the house nobody can see it uh, I designed this whole thing myself, so I laid out the plumbing, the electrical, and when you're doing it all, you, you know how to lay it out because you're the one that's going to have to deal with it and put it together. It just helps save money. This right here is a radon system. It's about $100 $150 worth of pipe and fittings, and the radon gas will go in these holes, and they'll be turned upside down, surrounded by rock and it'll allow the gas to go in here, if there is any radon gas, to go in to these pipes. From what I could tell, the close, or a loop system is best, so it's all connected, and it's gonna go here, and this three inch pipe will go through the roof. You could put a vacuum pump on it to help draw it out. A lot of times it will just naturally go out on its own without the vac vacuum pump connected. But this right here is so inexpensive to do now versus if you've got your house built and you find out you have radon later. Took some old electric fence post, bent them around a tree so they would be the right diameter to fit over this pipe. Purpose is to hold it in place when they're pouring concrete so it doesn't move. And so I've got one here, got one here so it doesn't move, keeps it from going that way. And this one keeps it from going this way. Now we've got it secure in each one of the four corners. And then at the end where it's going to go up through the roof. That way it won't move when the concrete guys are pouring the concrete.